Good morning, everybody. My name is Benedetto, and I'm the founder of Glasgow based design and branding agency, The Loft. I'm delighted to welcome you all to the second edition of our Loftcast. Loftcast is a video and audio podcast which celebrates the, um, the ideas of high impact, transformative, and radical thinking individuals. Today, we're absolutely thrilled to have Brian Williamson with us. Brian Williamson is an engineer, a professional businessman, and an award-winning entrepreneur. He draws on the knowledge and experience he gained in a fast advancing managerial career in industry and from his successes as, a, as an entrepreneur in high growth business situations. He started his life in a tenement flat in Stirling, the son of a waitress and a foundry man. He remains a grounded individual and a proud Scot. He's been running companies at a board level for the last 37 years and the last 25 as an entrepreneur. Brian has exited nine businesses in his life and two of them in the last two years. Brightwork, a recruitment business in 2017 after growing sales to 38 million. The second and a more recent one in 2019 is Jumpstart, which started late in 2008. However, by 2010 through to 2013, it was recognized as the fastest growing SME in Scotland. Today, Brian is chairman of the 4ICG Group, as well as chairman of Thinkware and MyGen. He's also the investment director at Vet Rotors, looking after the interests of the investors of Equity Gap, a private equity group. In 2016, Brian was recognized by We Do Entrepreneurs with a Lifetime Achievement Award for his significant contribution to the entrepreneurial community. In 2017, Brian was awarded an honorary doctorate by Glasgow Can Caledonian University for his contribution to entrepreneurship. Brian believes in lifelong learning and we only lose our way in business when we lose the appetite for learning. Today he's going to talk to us about ordinary people doing extraordinary things. Brian, as we've just described, you've had a pretty incredible career. Thanks again for being with us today. You're welcome. Uh, what was I going to say? How this all came about? Well, a uh, bit of a surprise for me, albeit the early on in life when I was living with mum and dad, didn't come from an entrepreneurial background. For some reason, I seem to have some entrepreneurial ability. I remember at the age of 10, uh, I decided to go around the people in the council estate that I lived in and ask them if they wanted to sell some of their unused toys. And the deal was I would do all the marketing promotion and my shed would be the business premises. And for that, we would share 50-50 in the, the proceeds. So that was a pretty entrepreneurial thing to do. However, if I look back on it, my dad was a working class man and my mum was a working class woman, so there wasn't really any history. So the thing that I've been looking at over the years is, where did I get that from? And I guess it comes back, uh, I've got to look further generations back. I haven't quite managed to trace the entrepreneur and my grand, grand, whatever, parents, but there's certainly something that goes back there. And it goes back to my daughter's got bent pinkies, my sister's got bent pinkies, so they didn't get them from mum or dad, they didn't have bent pinkies, so physical attributes, can go back generations. Surely some of our mental attributes and approaches to life goes back generations. I believe I've got it from somewhere in the past. And uh, I guess one day I hope to find that out. 